What is going on guys? We are back with another video today. We are in our Miami Dolphins online user franchise. It is week 16. I believe if we win this game, we have the division locked up. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but it is against the Panthers. We have some very tough matchups coming up here. Uh, this being one of them. Uh, obviously 12-2. and two. I don't know what the rest of the conference looks like. It doesn't look like we're going to have a chance at the bye week anyways. But still want to keep the wins going if we can. And yeah, let's, uh, I suppose, get into some of the big things, which is a breakout and a perfect chemistry, which is potentially another breakout. I, I don't know if that's going to give him a chance at Superstar, if it's just XP. I don't really remember. Uh, these are the players of the week. Thought maybe Tua had a chance. He had a bunch of touchdowns, but we did have a bunch of turnovers as well. Um, but let's take a look at our team, take a look at his team, and hopefully come out with a dub and or you know the breakouts that's kind of a very big importance as well people's jones is still the number one i will see if it's not a breakout for a dev we'll be changing this around fuller we're keeping that uh, upgrade up uh, for later offensive line looks okay they haven't played super super well but we've done enough to get wins two has been a little iffy at times but it's mainly us with our reads uh ward has been insane uh, some of these players have been really good, and thankfully, Phillips is healthy. That's <laughs> There was a, a bit of an injury scare. A couple of guys, even the kicker, was a part of that injury scare last week, and thankfully, we didn't have any extra issues. But let's go and take a look at his team and then look at our breakouts here, or breakouts. Once again, I, I don't know what that chemistry thing is, technically. Uh, Matt Corral here is his quarterback. Super fast, obviously. Good strength. Already very good of a player in general. Jukeable and all that good stuff. Christian McCaffrey's still here, obviously. Why would you trade him? He's literally OP. Uh, wide receivers. Any new names? DJ Moore is on top of the world. Robbie's still good. T. Higgins. Uh, he's given us issues in, a while, in, in the past. I don't know if we've actually had issues against the Panthers when he was there, but we've definitely had issues playing him. Why is this guy not starting? He's fast as hell. Is he old? Like 24? Tommy Tremble, who I believe is superstar dev is pretty good with the route running and you know he still needs some time but he's good obviously lineman tackles not bad elf line i'm surprised as a starter still in the league kevin zeitler i'm surprised as a starter larry stanton six foot eight and a guard kind of feel like that's not where he was drafted at <laughs> but taylor moton it makes sense because he's obviously the right tackle brian burns a guy that's going to be really hard to stop obviously to it uh hopefully he gets injured very hard to beat. Solomon Thomas and Moulton. Uh, a very strong power move there. Linebacker Hassan Reddick is very good, especially at pass rushing. Leon Jacobs is fast. Uh, Mr. Shaq Thompson is good because he's an x factor, but he's obviously regressed hard. He's not really that fast. But then you have some really good corners that are also insanely fast. So there's a bit of speed here. Devin McCourty. Maybe you get him over the top, perhaps, but... Overall, uh, you know, not an easy team to beat, I suppose. I would say we're definitely coming in this as the underdogs, especially since we're away, if you will. But let's do this perfect chemistry, see if there's a chance at Superstar or not, or Superstar X Factor. I am in the next Superstar, you're right on the path. He used the word Superstar, so I'm just saying, dude. I I'm, you know, I'm not the guy. Uh, oh, that's it? Of course, it's got to be against the Panthers, but interesting very interesting uh to, uh touchdowns who gives a damn to be honest and then breakout player i don't know who this is gonna be probably a defender though if it's gasicki i swear to god could it actually wait what is this is it waddle who is this <laughs> yeah i'm gonna be honest with you uh <laughs> i don't think that's gonna happen of course superstar for people's jones is Way more obtainable and way more important. So, obviously, if we're going to be, uh, you know, trying to get one, it's definitely going to be Peoples-Jones. So, sorry, uh, Waddle, this is not your day. Unless it happens to be his day, then, you know, I, I guess forget everything I said. But it's not going to be. Uh, Toxic is definitely going to run the hell out of the ball against us. Everyone changes their entire way of playing when they play us. So, yeah, I'm not really surprised by that at all. So let's, uh, I suppose, let's just run this. It's probably the best case. And let's go in the game. All right, here we are in Carolina, I imagine, right? Yeah, Charlotte. Charlotte. But, of course, uh, here we are in their stadium getting the ball first. Okay, I mean, he gets the home game and 
the the ball choice because obviously I chose uh, to kick, and here we are. <laughs> not really much of a choice at all, and I'm not going to return that because that ball was Antonio Cromartyly deep, if you will. All right, so he has a bunch of superstars, obviously. So we're going to still run it though. And there goes Mitchell gaining about five. It's pretty good suction, though. I want to go a little more five wide this game, though, because I normally don't. So I feel like I need to. I feel like that's going to be a, a bit of a, a of a game changer today. Underneath, we're going to take that. Mr. Fuller gaining quite a bit of yards down to the 45. Not terrible. Oh, good try. Brought all the players. I, thought, I don't know if he thought it was going to be a run. What's the story? But I read it late because I, I thought he was just going to automatically cover that guy. And his people's Jones just got wide. Maybe not the greatest read in the world. <laughs> it is what it is, though. And his guy just made a play, dude. His, his players are just making plays for him. He doesn't even have to play out here so far, at least. So far, his guys are just locking up. It went to the out route, though. I think I had uh, Fuller. Ooh, this is interesting. And his guy just picks it off. Good job, his AI. He just completely missed the user. Damn. I need Redwine to, like, cover over there. Good try on the tackle. Damn, dude. I suppose it's kind of a compliment, if you will. The tackle. And he's going to roll out. No fumble. I missed. Good sack, Phillips. Baited that out with the user. Hit him. The fall forwards, please. I'm just running mid. Normally, I wouldn't. I would just kind of bait it out, but we're running it. Damn, dude. Those outs. Not a bad little return by Jennings to the 31. All right, he's backing up pretty far there. I can't. Dante Jackson. Freaking getting weird notifications, dude. While I'm trying to play. That would have been a fumble. That actually would have been a fumble there. Peoples Jones on the inside. Nice little play. Gets a first down. I normally do maybe drag out my reads a little bit too much, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna try to just find whoever's open quickly if I can. Nice little play by Waddle. Could have maybe went to Waddle there. Nice little five yard gain for Elijah Mitchell. Perfect coverage by Dante Jackson. Man, it hurts that, like, Dante's actually a good player on top of being fast. It's like a double whammy. He's still going to run it. Nice miss by him. Needed that miss bad. Let's hurry up to the line. Oh, I can't go with that streak, though. Wait, why didn't it? I didn't even try to run the same play. What the hell? I guess I audibled too much. I literally didn't even audible one play. Could have a jump ball with Peoples. I don't know if I trust that, though. I just threw it right at him. I don't even know. I don't know why I did that. Ah, I can't tackle him. He has so many players open. There's nothing I can do if he's getting that kind of time on a blitz. Good tackle. Could be a pitch to the right. Still, I swear if he would have got that. 
shouldn't even have given it to him. We were all over that. Probably the triple option. Get it! Jesus, Davenport. Thank you. Going underneath. It's the only thing really open, so I'm just going to keep going to it. Mitchell's probably my look. Reminds me people's. <laughs> like, I'm actually not sure how I get people's Jones open. That's a late hit. And I should have just went possession. Oh, my God. Literal touchdown in real life. Just saying. Throw it away. Mr. Waddle. Good first down. The speed of his corners, dude. Like, my corners are X-Factors and all that, but they don't even compare. Like, they just, they really don't compare. Like, he's going to sit and press man, and my guys die, dude. Like, it's actually crazy. Dropped. Nice job, Gesicki. Peoples Jones. Good job, Waddle. It's going to be short, but we're going to go for it. Obviously. Oh my god, Tua just sold. I just angled it left. Doesn't throw it left. He's so open. That is unbelievable, dude. GG. Dropped. He 100% thinks this is uh, crossers. Watch his defense still ball out. No, maybe not. Like I said, he 100% thought it was crosser, so me running there was a, uh, a good call. I don't really care about two as three interceptions. Like I said, it's just so annoying that his AIs are doing everything for him. Like his user, I don't even remember seeing his user. I seen him user Solomon, I think, one time. Outside of that, I don't know if I've seen his user. There you go, peoples. Only time we beat him is in cover two. Shocker. All right, John Franklin. We need some pressure because we're not getting it elsewhere. The tackle, like I said. Not getting it elsewhere, so we got to get it somewhere. Your best choice. Your best chance, pal. Let's go Holland. This is not an easy play to use her, though. Can we tackle him, dude, all day? Howard. Dropped, of course. Hit as he's throwing. Good try. Of course. Not much I could do about that. Good try in the tackle. I'm, I'm just going to like be as chill as possible. You know, there's not really much I could do. His, his guys are playing really well on defense, and also we're getting cocked by animations on top of it, which doesn't help. Good tackle. I mean, I'm containing on a lot of plays, because like, we're not getting pressure anyways, but we also know that unfortunately the contain doesn't work on the game either. Why is Tate moving, though? Like, where is Tate going? I don't know what that flag is. Potential grounding. All right. Fair enough. Could be a screener going to pay attention. I think this is like the deep in cut play. The D... 
It's pretty good. D. I'm a little surprised that they actually gave us the animation. We were kind of there early, so I thought we were going to end up like just overrunning it. I'm actually really surprised we got that. Like, I don't do everything perfectly on this game. <laughs> Obviously, by the fact that I threw four picks this game already, and it's only halftime, but... Just in general, obviously, with uh, with sometimes when I switch off on users, sometimes those don't really go super well, right? I might just got grabbed. I mean, his user is just nowhere to be found. Like, it's it's all of his AI. I'm actually going to pause and switch up uh, people's Jones because he's really just not getting open that way anyways. So I might as well just mix it up a little bit. I have no idea. What's the receiving? So 81. It's not terrible. Double move. I don't really think we're going to get the time on this. And even if we did. He's got him! Waddle! I don't know what the flag is. If that's on us, I'm, I'm literally just going to quit. What? Onside kick to start off, and it just goes. I'm sure, that's how the physics of a ball works. Give me a run to start it out, obviously. I mean, I've already accepted that I've probably lost the game, so I might as well try to do what I can to... Uh... I literally did that. It wouldn't let me dive. I literally did that just to try and open up John Franklin Myers on the uh, the slide. But I, if I feel like I'm going to lose the game, which I've... I mean, you could see the things that are happening on top of my bad reads. I might as well just try to get Superstar. At least that'll, you know, long-term-wise, that'll help out the, the team, right? I miss hard. He threw that away. That's not grounding. Oh, I thought Davenport was going to get that. It's obviously our job, you know. He kind of brought the whole house there. Thank you, Howard. Good pick. People's Jones on the inside now. We actually really must not have called many plays because this that audible has uh, apparently been used too much by us. I did not think we ran that play that many times. Of course, like I've said a million times, I swear Puka is just better. I don't know how, he just is. There you go. I thought maybe they were going to give him that. And if he would have got that, fair enough, to be honest. I, I really did feel like it was a little low. But I'm just like, m like muscle memory, I've just been used to seeing that, right? That was a huge hit by, I don't know, probably another corner. I'm just used to seeing that, like, throw and whatever work, but obviously it, like, didn't. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what we do with this, because he's got the inside leverage. Damn, he just dropped it. Like, he didn't even catch it, dude. Like, I know I'm probably going to lose yards there, so I probably should be happy, but, like, he didn't even catch it, man. Like, sir, can I get some assistance? I just want a little. And we didn't even get close. Uh, I mean, you get go for us. This might not be the best time to use it, but I'm going to. Oh, it's People's Jones. This is a sell. Oof. It stayed hard there. I mean, it worked out, so it's, I mean, it's kind of lucky. He's got hit hard again. I honestly think what's causing me to like not have good reads or just suck in general is Brian Burns. I might have to just start doubling him and just hoping. Because I really just don't feel like I get a chance to look at my second reads. You got to take that. He's 6'6". Six, six. Good try. I'm surprised it wasn't picked again. At least I took a shot in the middle like of the field. Normally my shots are just not really like... Technically shots. That is a very, very bad throw. I, I kind of had to just force it there. I don't know. I might go for a new quarterback. I, I don't know what it is with Tua. He can't directionally throw. I threw it to the left, and he just, he just threw it right down Main Street again. I mean, I don't know what happens earlier in the game if we actually get that throw to the left. Nice sack. There you go. We had a, a deep shot to the safety uh, in cover two because, you know, cover two is just terrible. So anytime anyone runs it, it's an automatic, like, big play. But 
he just threw it directly at him. I mean, there's some bad reads that I've made in this, for sure. Like, without a doubt. But that read was not one of them. I threw to the left. Maybe he gets a knockout because Petrovsky sucks, but I felt like a quick read. Maybe we had a chance at it. Uh, and then, the, uh, like I said, the cover two look earlier in the game where I sold. Good job. And picked off by Baker. We get one of those now. Nice. That's some luck. We'll take it. Not uh, the cleanest game from either side. That's something I don't think anyone's going to be arguing here tonight. Good catch. Good catch. Eight yards. Uh, t -t -t what do I run? This looks good for the tight end. It's Petrovsky, though. Petrovsky can't do these things. He ain't built for this. I went for a possession. I thought he was going to get over there. He just... I don't think he's expecting me to throw a quick. And honestly, I don't feel like I expect me to throw a quick. Like, that just ain't my game. Uh, we're looking for Mitchell. These guys made a good play because he just completely missed. Good little run. He's bringing up the safety, but People's Jones still ain't open. I missed it. I had it and I sold. I, I hit it too hard. I sold under pressure. I folded. Nice, big boy. Finally. Got tackle one-on-one -on -one against Dante. This time he ain't messing around, apparently. Oh, I don't even care about, like, I care about the touchdown. Obviously, that would potentially tie the game. But more importantly, that was probably enough yards to get the thing, right? I imagine. Dragons. It's a really hard read, though. Oof. Who was that he was using? Another linebacker, it seems. Damn, dude, that was a hit. I need that not to be the case. He's obviously run committing. I really don't have much of a choice. My fullback just missed. Okay, dude. You can't throw over players. I had it. IRL, that's a touchdown, but in game, obviously, it's not. This is a screen pass to McCaffrey. Ooh, it's not. I really thought that was a screen pass to McCaffrey, ain't gonna lie. We did, uh, you know, we obviously haven't played well in this game. There's no arguing that, but at the end of the day, we did get cucked out of a couple of touchdowns. That wasn't really one of them. I, as soon as I threw it, I knew that was going to be picked off. Like, it was just, I know where I want it, and I know in real life you can hit that throw in the back of the end zone, but obviously in game, you just don't. You Like, you can't. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he didn't beat us by more, to be honest. Like, that's just crazy, dude. I mean, like, what is this? Like, what What do I do to do? Like, what do I do to stop that? Like, did anyone got an idea? Good tackle, Baker. If that was uh, McCaffrey, obviously he'd be able to just... Juke move and fall forward 145 yards. I don't know what, like, god damn, dude. This is probably why people complain about the game a lot because I don't usually go up against like evasive or jukebox guys or escape artists or that much, you know, those types of players often. But now I can see. Now I can see it. Now, you know, this, like, this is pretty bad. Yo, what's he must have an ability for like out routes or something. His team is goaded, dude. There's a couple of teams like that in the league that are just so broken that, you know, like really just anyone could do well with them. If he has like some ability that makes him run out routes faster, that is broken. Job by Phillips, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, considering the way his defense played, he I, I'm really surprised he didn't put up more on offense. Like, I, I don't feel like our defense has been that good. He's just been really conservative. Our offense is our, – our defense is just nothing. Red one with a pick. Nice little spin, actually. Oof, that's a big fella. What's his name? Stefan. Seven picks for red one this season. Not bad. Actually, not terrible. Tackle. It's good throw and catch, though. Let's run it again with Puka. 
I am forcing it to uh, people's here a little bit, but obviously he's very close to this thing, so. Oh, we got unlucky there. Should have been able to close in on that. There you go, peoples. Doesn't get out of bounds, but that's all right. Don't actually know what his, uh, like, thing is. Like, how many he has. We're going to drag peoples, and we're going to streak fuller and see. Nice moves. Inside zone with Mitchell. Dove early with a hit stick there, Mitchell. <laughs> Fighting hard at nothing. But, I mean, good effort. No truck for or no hit stick from Shaq Thompson's a little surprise in there. All right, one last chew clock, and we are in the end game, folks. And he drops that. I mean, he's late to the party there, and I still drop it, dude. That's harsh. That's a bit harsh. I just hope Peoples Jones has. It. I mean, we threw the ball like we forced the ball to him so much. This little like streak so I just figured you know and his players just pulled off <laughs> keep going and then a hold <laughs> well that's a GG we lost <laughs> uh, he accepts that too that's pretty shameless but that's fine deep in from Waddle I mean let's actually block for once Oh, hey, relax, buddy. The clock is running. I got to call a timeout, actually. I was going to try to make some play, but I, I couldn't. I really should have went with something with a like a wheel route or something like that. Might just take the shot to Peoples. Uh, I mean, I don't really like him like that. Yeah, we'll go to Gasicki. Yeah, that's a good try. He's a big guy, but you can't really do anything about it. I did say I wanted to go to a wheel route, so we'll, we'll try one. That holding call was really harsh. Gasicki. Oh, he should have probably picked that off. Good try. I keep going to Gasicki as if, like, he's actually won a jump ball ever in his life. He, like, the only time he wins a jump ball is because his body doesn't allow the guy to, like, suction. And everyone's so try hard. Like, it may be him because his guy... He actually does run the ball, like, st like actually with his guy, like, running reads and whatnot. But everyone subs in their backup for the kneel down. I don't give a damn what two his rushing numbers are. He's pretty trash. But, yeah, I mean, we definitely didn't play well enough to win. We were pretty bad in that game. But also, we did get screwed over, like, quite a bit. But, yeah, we really had no business winning that game. We were pretty bad. Looking at the stats, definitely not our uh, proudest moment. He had a couple of picks, but his were, like... I mean, it was just weird because, like, he had a lot of, like, safe throw picks. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to explain that, but six interceptions is uh, not a good look, believe it or not. Uh, rushing, not really much special going on for us either. Puka, well, Puka was actually pretty decent. Uh, receiving, Peoples Jones, 10 for 149, obviously got his uh, scenario. Waddle had 41 yards. Don't think you were going to get to 200, but if you were, that was not the way to do it. Uh, might get benched for the amount of catches, but yeah, he's superstar. I don't really care. Uh, we we haven't uh, revoked anyone's forcing for DevOps, and that is not even close to as bad as we've seen. Uh, Redwine with a pick, Baker with a pick, Howard with a pick. We threw a couple of picks. Some were unlucky, uh, and a lot were just really bad reads, unfortunately. But still, GG, it's GG to Toxic. He, he obviously had a really good uh, defensive play style. Because I mean, we have really good corners too. I know ours aren't as fast as his, and that is. A huge difference maker. Uh, if you're really fast, you you know, for some reason the game allows you to react instantly when the ball is thrown. So if you have that closing speed, you can obviously make up for that pretty well. Uh, I'm trying to think. Jesus. I mean, with the amount of speed Corral has or Coral has, I mean, I doubt it's Coral. Uh, you know, you kind of kind of understand why I would do that. But we got a couple of sacks, actually. I didn't even pay attention to that. Let's actually look at all of our picks. So... Uh, you know, maybe the play calling in general isn't great either, but here, um, where's the read? Okay, I can see that. Uh, his guy should be backpedaling for Peoples-Jones here, and he just isn't, so 
you know, a little unrealistic in that sense. Maybe he just has his guys on drop down. I don't know how the hell that works, but yeah, his guy should probably not have been there. But I did try to throw that down, and I don't know what it is with Tua, but he just doesn't have directional throwing for some reason. Uh, but that was a, you know, not a great read, obviously. Interception number two. I think this was just a blatant stupidity. I, I just took a shot. What down was it, at least? Oh, first down, you bots. Let's actually get a wider look, see if there was anyone else open. So, uh, in cut, you're not really going to hit that. The outs are perfectly covered. Realistically, I do need to throw a slant or a dragon every single play if I can. You can see why I still threw it, though. I mean, he kind of has him beat, but that's also, like, needs to be, like, a EDR throw for him to be able to get to that. Uh, I'm honestly surprised the throw is as good as it was. Good try by Waddle, obviously. Uh, maybe even cheese the thumbnail for it. We'll come to that later. Uh, and the ball just, just bouncing hard. I mean, that ball is just, it's literally touching the ground. <laughs> Look at this, dude. It's actually touching the ground. What happened on this one? How did we score on the... Oh, yeah, it was the cover two. So, yeah, I mean, you can definitely see that his guys are playing really down, which is a little surprising that he's getting away with it. More importantly, though, how come everyone else's line is way better than ours? I don't understand. To be fair, I don't do that thing where, you know, uh, people, like, they blitz their guy and then they don't actually blitz him. I am almost certain every single person in the league does that. Maybe I need to do that because then it'll be treated as a blitz. But, I mean, if you watch the plays, I mean, our guys are being absolutely pancaked. I mean, they're not pancaked, but they're just being stonewalled. I mean, we're not moving at all. Like, it's just not even close at all. Uh, was this another interception? Jesus Christ. It was fourth down. Oh, yeah, this one. I mean, that's, that's another touchdown probably. And we obviously only scored one touchdown. He just doesn't throw it to the side. I mean, it, it was all day like that, too. I mean, it's just... He's in cover, too. The worst defense in the game by a mile. That's a touchdown. If you Well, maybe not even a touchdown. You at least get the first down there. I threw that to the left, and he just doesn't. Like, not only does he not throw it to the left, he throws it inside. Good try by Peoples-Jones. You know, just even get a chance at it. But, man, Tua did not have a good day. I mean, he really just didn't. I mean, we were, hell, we were lucky to not give up another score here. Of course, uh, with the way McCaffrey played, that was really weird. But obviously, you know, good timing by uh, Davenport to get in there. And here, once again, uh, we're bringing a, you know, five. I mean, we're just getting locked up, as you will. There's just surprise we even brought him down, to be honest. Well, like, I guess we didn't. I'm really just going over this more just for my sake. This one was just a pressure read. I just, I mean, there's just no point in throwing this. First and 15 on top of it. Just, I mean, I just throw it right to him. I, I don't I don't think that's open. I don't think there's a chance he's going to get that. I'm not trying to get a jump ball with Gasicki. I'm literally about to get sacked, and I just panic throw it. I just, I literally just sell. There's nothing else to it. What happened here? Oh, this is the SWAT, wasn't it? Good job by Ward. Ward is really good, dude. Maybe Ward on the outside is the move next year. I don't know. And this was another one. What was this one? Oh, yeah. I, I, it was a very anticipatory throw, but I throw that to the left. They maybe still give it to him, but he's running down. I don't know. I, I throw that left because obviously there's a little bit more room there. His other guy's not running to it. I mean, he's obviously going to cut inside here on the user, so I knew he was there. It's just I throw it to the lab. He probably would have dropped it anyways, but I did go for the possession, so it would have been Petrovsky's big time to shine. Obviously, it didn't turn out that way because I'm a bot. And then this one, uh, you probably do have the quick read over to Fuller. It's just I didn't expect that corner to, or where, no, it's Shaq Thompson to, to blitz. Have that. Uh, you have, oh, that's, yeah, I was about to say, you do have Gasicki. If you, if you touch pass it here, it gets there. But when the player's waiting, even if you throw it high, which I think I did, the ball just doesn't go there. It kind of just sits in the middle for a comeback. I don't know why, but it just does. But yeah, that was just a bad game. I don't even think he would say that he had a good game. I mean, considering how many opportunities we gave him, surprised that we didn't get scored on by 40, to be honest. Yeah, win the turnover battle. I'm sure we did that. But at least Peoples Jones got his thing. He also has an overall up. Don't know what kind of ability he's going to get here, but, I mean, it's nice to see. Hopefully, I mean, we're probably not even going to get any XP anyways. He did get a touchdown, though, so popcorn and such. Superstar Dev, 2,500 XP. 
So is it just uh, like 1,500 XP per touchdown? Uh, I'm not going to click on that because we obviously just didn't get it. So it doesn't matter. But let's take a look at Mr. Superstar Peoples Jones. We have all superstars now at the wide receiver spot. And he gets recuperation. Yay. There's a lot of abilities he could have got. And that was uh, one of the worst. What does recuperation do anyways? I mean, I suppose that's... It's better than Energizer and run and Return Man. But outside of that, okay, and second win. But still, there's so many more abilities you could have had. And, of course, he gets Trash One. So for this one, I don't even know. <laughs> reach for I'm going to get Reach for It's just going to be such a wasted wide receiver. Well, oh well. He's, he's low cap, so if we find a better wide receiver, maybe uh, that superstar dev is enough to entice someone. Of course, matchup nightmare and slotomatic. It's <laughs> sweet, dude. I suppose we just go for uh, Routner. I mean, what's his physical? He is never getting that second ability slot. What is deep threat? At least he'll get something if I do that. So deep out. Uh, what catching pass is 20 plus? Oh my god, he's useless. Oh well, at least he's superstar. Uh, we're going to start working on uh, physical because I need a jump ball guy in the red zone when I'm in trouble. Not that it matters because, you know, he's he's just awful at it. But catching traffic plus two. I mean, he got better, I suppose. But that's kind of it for the week. Like I said, we expected to, you know, struggle in this one. We expected to lose. I uh, didn't expect to throw that many picks, but I did expect it to be a pretty tight window type of game. I didn't even realize how good his team was. I didn't think he had that many fast corners. Obviously, the Panthers are like, you know, when I, you know, I kind of passed them off as a team that I was going to do because of how good their base players were. A lot of them across the board, you know, tons of really good corners. You know, they got Brian Burns. They got some speed at linebacker. You know, McCaffrey. You have some uh, some speedy wide receivers. You have the star dev tight end. I mean, he had some pretty good options, obviously, um, but I didn't think it was going to be that good. This team's pretty well developed, but yeah, that's unfortunately the way it goes. A 14-7 loss. That is a, a low-scoring game from both of us. Then we play against the Bills, who is also a tough defense to beat uh, and even tougher on offense because of escape artists at quarterback. And then we play Gunslinger Week seven, uh, week 18 and Derrick Henry. So sweet lineup coming up here. But, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Care Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. I said that I was going to try not to complain too much. I accepted that I was making bad reads more often. There's still going to be people complaining just as much as I did in the game, and maybe that's fair enough because it was still quite a bit of complaining. Rightfully so, but at the same time, you know, it's there's some things you just got to, you know, you can't just force it in there. You got to you gotta go underneath, got to make a play. Throw it short, you know, run it more, do whatever you can. The run game wasn't great, but it was still working more than those interceptions. I think it was just also a perfect storm of the worst time to get a breakout scenario ever. If it was two guys that needed 200 yards each, I wouldn't even have thought about it. Maybe I throw half the picks. Maybe I win the game because, once again, I would have maybe ran it more. But, yeah, I mean, you have a chance at Superstar, and it's less than normal. You know, normally it's 150. It's 125 this time. You got to take it, and of course, for the longevity of this thing, maybe it ends up being a great decision, because once again, no matter what we do, it seems like we weren't going to get the number one seed in the AFC, so losing this game may not even have mattered, honestly, so we'll see when it's all said and done, and that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video, but until next video, see ya!